Hey, hey, it's the Rooster, Bobby Leach for the TimesWeekly.com. Julia turned the tables on visiting Providence Catholic Celtic Saturday when senior wingback Mike Ivo took the first snap from scrimmage 80 yards for an early 7-0 lead in the local rivalry game that opened the 2013 season. Joliet Catholic wasn't finished with the early scoring barrage that stunned Celtic fans at Memorial Stadium. Using a play fake to Ivlo, quarterback Nick Morrison found tight end Jordan Jones dragging across the field for a 42-yard touchdown pass that put JCA up 14 to zip with 9-14 left to play in the first quarter. At that point, it was clear Providence needed to get on the board and did by grinding out a 71-yard drive, capping it with a two-yard plunge off tackle from senior running back Dominic Legrone to draw within a score of 14-6. On the ensuing drive, Morrison used his legs to put the Hilltoppers in scoring position again, but threw an interception in the end zone that stopped JCA momentarily from going up two scores. Midway through the second quarter, JCA turned to their horse Ivlo again, who broke through the right side of the line and fouled his box before turning on the Jets and scoring from 59 yards out, putting JCA up 21 to 6 with only 3:16 left in the half. But that would be enough time for Providence to work with. With nine seconds to play, Celtic quarterback Justin Hunterford found tight end Austin Garwood for a four-yard jump ball that drew Providence closer, 21 to 13, heading into the halftime intermission. In the second half, the Celtics even the score 21 apiece on their first possession of the third when Hunterford found receiver Miles Boykin for a score, then hit Garwood in the corner of the end zone for a two-point conversion that breathed new life into the Celtics, but just as easily awakened the Giant. Moments later on JCA's ensuing drive, Ivlo ripped off a 67-yard touchdown run that put the Hilltoppers back on top 28-21 in the seesaw game that kept fans on the edge of their seats all night. Trading scores, Legrone knotted it up at 28 when he scored from four yards out late in the third. Ivlo again answered the bell and this time powered through would-be tacklers right up the gut for a 32-yard touchdown, his fourth of the game and a 35-28 lead. That's when he thought it couldn't get any crazier. It only took three plays for the Celtics to respond when Harford found a streaking Boykin for a 75-yard touchdown strike who got behind two Hilltopper defenders and outraced them to pay dirt once again, nodding the game up this time at 35 apiece midway through the fourth. With 2.22 left, Morrison used a play-action bootleg to score from a yard out, putting the Hilltoppers on top for good, 42-35. to Providence had a shot at the JCA 30 with a little more than a minute to play, but the Hilltopper defense held up and forced the turnover on downs, ending a threat and earning their first victory of the season in dramatic fashion. Next up for the Hilltoppers, they'll travel out of state to St. Thomas Academy in Minnesota since Saturday at 1 p.m., while Providence will travel just south to Manuka to take them on Friday night, game time, 7 p.m. Good plans. I mean, I, yeah. I know him, and I talked to uh, Randy Cybulski. He's actually starting DB, but he uh, got he had a concussion, concussion this game, so he didn't play. I know a couple of those guys. My girlfriend went, goes to floor, went to Providence, so she keeps in touch with all those guys still and talks to me about them, and I get all the inside scoop. But honestly, Jones battled us out a lot. I was cramped the whole game. Yeah. And I thought I was going to die. I couldn't move. They were both double cramped. Morrison, Resin, Pastore, Bordra, carried the load, and Ben Hart. Best blocker I've ever had. Best teammate I've ever had. And Butler, he's our leader, and he will us the win today. Butler, Hansel, Hunter, Nick Chavez. Nick Chavez yeah. didn't get any credit this year because he's 5'11. Everybody's a giant, 6'2, 6'3. Yeah. This whole game plan was designed around him and Ben Hart, and they stepped up. Mm. And uh, hey. it seems like, Mike, when you did get a chance to get out and you open a little bit, you, you, I mean, cramping or not, you seem to have that little extra burst that you That was my uh, thing this year. Uh, who's weighed? And Francis <laughs> Rudiger got me down to that. And I mean, I thought I was. What do you gonna... weigh? What do you weigh now? 192. 192. 192, and I was 232 last year. And 40 pounds. I need to gain weight. That's my, <laughs> I probably weigh 185 right now. <laughs> wow. And Francis is responsible for getting you to lose Francis it. Rudiger, he's the reason why I came here. He's been a family friend since I was one year old. And this guy right here, <laughs> hey. Sharp, he believed in me. Right. I wasn't Cross even good. I wasn't even Dan, starting. Don't, Dan, don't go away, okay? I oh, wasn't okay. even starting at Manuka. And Coach <laughs> Sharp let me come in here and gave me a chance to prove to everybody. I love Coach Sharp and I love Francis Rudiger. Uh, <laughs> I know. You may have answered this, buddy, but yeah. I just told you to talk to Coach Sharp. I did the 
days of the 80 yard drives are gone. You know, the, you know, just get ball control no more. And the first point of scrimmage, you put, you put everybody in the, in the um, wrong. Run. I didn't expect that. I, uh, <laughs> my emotions got to me. And I mean, Jake Jaworski, new deep coordinator, 35 points against the best receiver in the state of Illinois. I think that's pretty good. And Don Lagone, too, very good. Did you expect to have a five touchdown game? No. 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 Um, I was hoping for at least one, <laughs> but uh, Coach Sharp just told me get ready to pound the ball the whole game, and I just double cramps, and I'm playing with a couple more injuries too. But how fun is this? Yeah. How, how, how fun is this being the, the teacher back now for the game, and not the guy blocking the guy you know, get, you know, getting the ball well, as teacher back? It sucks because I'm out of breath every play. I, I, I was puking. I puked, double cramps every time. You can't even breathe right now. It sucks, but it's, fun, it's right? worth it in the end. Well, that, last that last touchdown, as you can tell, you were cramping the whole time. I mean, you were, you were fighting that the whole time. I, I started cramping right after the first run I had. I don't know. I drank water, but yesterday we didn't get to practice at all, and Thursday was our walkthrough, so that's what happened. I just didn't run for two days. It was last. Last, thank God, I didn't have MRSA like last year. I had to sit out. the. I played in the Providence game, but I was on so many medications I don't remember. This year, this game I'll always remember. How about you guys, the fans? I mean, you're from last night being canceled, you know, I know tons of games around the state were like quarter people came back. You guys packed the stands, stands again, and everybody came back. How, how big was that? Uh, me and Butler convinced everybody to come back out, and uh, there's a catch to it if they came back out. So uh, we had to tell everybody, we sent group messages out, just come out. I mean, during football season, JCA is very special place. It's unbelievable. It's uh, one of the best places ever to be, and everybody gets along, and everybody's friends here. It was a great game. Uh, obviously, we got off to a rough start, you know, put us in a hole. Uh, like I told our guys, I was proud of the way they battled back. Uh, our offense did a great job all night. Uh, it came down to uh, the best man on the field tonight. You know, we're number 30 over there. He, uh, big play after big play, you know, and it, we have to drive it, we have to work hard, work hard, and hit another big play. But that's how it was all night. Uh, defensively, obviously, we, we got some work to do, and we realize that. Uh, offensively, uh, I'm happy with uh, you know the way we mix things up. I thought we warmed down a little bit uh, on both sides of the ball. It wasn't conditioning. It was, uh, it was the big plays. Good job by your uh, junior quarterback. I, yes, he did. He did a great job. Made great decisions. Made big plays when he had to. Uh, you know, well, we couldn't ask him anything more for his first part of the start. How important next week's game, and then uh, then after that, going into conference play with the the competition that you guys face yes, uh, week important. in and week out. Very important. Uh, I, you know, I don't know how Manuka did tonight, and I know they're great. They were up 14-0 at half, I heard. So, so uh, and we got to go there. It's going to be but tough. I don't know so. how It'll be that. a gut check, gut check time for us. We got to respond. We, we got to uh, have a good week of practice and, and come out and get a win. Well, the stuff that was filled that the teams had sure showed up tonight. I mean, Lagone for you guys. I mean, he is a tailback. <laughs> right. He is a good one, and. Uh, and of course, Miles and, and your your other receivers. And yep, uh, our yeah. receivers You've got some great weapons. job. We do, we do. Uh, yeah, um, you know, very, very happy with that. Um, I guess you know, just comes down. Yeah, like we got to share some things up on yeah, defense, sure and, and it's it's hard first game. It's hard to simulate their offense. Uh, mm -hmm. and I think that's why they hit us early because it's just a little bit faster than we can practice it. Back and forth. And it's kind of the way the game is today, you know. I mean, you really—it's it's hard. It's hard to defend those the talent they have there. But our kids made some big plays, the, the effort, and so they stayed with, stayed with it. And then when they needed to make the play on fourth down, they made the play to win the game. You know, so the defense came up big when they needed to, and we controlled the ball. I, you know, it's funny. We said we're going to be a ball control game, and we have two one-play series in the first two times we have the ball. But um, when we had to grind it out, you know, I thought, oh, 222, we might have scored too soon. But our defense came through. All right, Coach, great win tonight. Nice job. Thank you. We're going to go to Minnesota. Maybe it'll be a little cooler up in Minnesota. But we're looking forward to that trip. we got a lot of work ahead of us. But this is a great way to kick off the season. All right, Danny, uh, the fourth down call on the long 
pass. I mean, the way they you know, we're, we're running the football, little, little, you know, an easy run for, for the first. You guys you hit, hit the big, the big pass, and uh, by everybody out there. Huh? Well, we felt that we that it was the second. We ran the same pass that we ran the second play of the game, and we said, hey. You know, we practiced this, we talked about you know, it's the type of play you have to use either first down or in a uh, shock situation where they don't, and the way Ivo was running the ball, he play faked, and all the safeties came up, and and then Jordy had one-on-one, -on -one and our quarterback got set, laid it out there, and that was, was that's a highlight reel catch that he made out there. That's an ESPN top 10 baby there. But uh, but that, look at the effort he made uh, to keep the drive alive. It's, uh, special group of kids you could look at any one of those guys throughout the course of the game somebody contribute big to this victory everybody wrote everybody said about you guys this year you know the days of the 80 yards of one pop are gone this and that you know and, and here's Ivo first play from scrimmage 80, 80 yards 60 yards later on I mean he's he's out to prove that hey you know what hi Isaac ain't here but I can do that <laughs> we we coach running backs at Jordan <laughs> Kelly yes, and we get great talent people did not look as Mike as a talent they thought of him as a, a fullback he said 25 pounds, he got stronger, he got quicker. And the thing that we were concerned about is th their speed. They had a great defensive speed, and that's what, you know, everything I read about Providence was how quick their defense was. So the fact that Mike was able to outrun some guys really shows uh, the improvement he made in that area, too. How did you feel when the chains came out? How, what was the, was the hard feel like? What did it feel like? It was, it was such great emotion. You know, when you get a rivalry like ours, it's because you have great respect for your opponent. And, uh, I, I've been on the other side. I, you know, it seems like we've lost some really tough ones in the playoffs to Martini, you know, last second games, uh, the last four or five years. And so, I mean, to have it go our way was excited, but I also knew how Cogs was feeling over there because, you know, we've been on that side of it. But that, where the game came down, isn't it amazing it came down to a half a foot? A, a great offensive game, and the defense made a stop on fourth down with a half a foot to spare. It's just, it's just perfect for uh, these two quality schools. And, and uh, you know, I just, uh, I'm so proud of our kids because when we need them to make a play, they made a play.